Hey hi uh, welcome back to the channel so we are going to discuss fourth problem asked in today's lead code weekly contest 484 the solution of uh, first three problem is already uh, posted like you can check it out so in this video we are going to discuss solution of fourth problem so in this problem it says uh, you are given an integer array nums and two integers k and m now you may perform at most k operations and in one operation you may choose any index i and increase the value of uh, that index like right, nums of i by 1. Now we have to return an integer that denotes the maximum possible bitwise and of any subset of size m after performing up to k operations optimally right and we know what is subset. So yeah it's a good problem uh, let's see how we can approach it. This is the code of uh, fourth problem so I would like to explain it through code because I felt uh, I mean you would understand it more if I explain it through the code. The code is pretty easy. It uh, uh, like you can easily understand. So we know that uh, like in this problem we are given nums k and m right. So we like we can apply at most k number of operations and after applying k operation you have to choose m uh, numbers such that the bitwise and value is maximum right. So bitwise and is maximum right? we have to maximize this bitwise end after uh, like picking m number of integers uh, from this nums array right so we know that uh, this number can go only up to 10 to the power 9 right so the maximum bit value like the maximum uh, bit size could be from 0 to 30 so let's say this is the binary representation so this is your bit 0 this is bit 1 this is bit 2 bit 3 and this is your bit 30 right and this is your msb this is your msb and this is your lsb so if you want to find out the maximum bitwise and it and like it will always be optimal to start uh, start like so start checking if you can uh, find out the bit set value from msb right because this is the max value possible so what we will do we are starting from uh, bit 30 and up till bit 0 and I want to check whether I can get a bitwise and value after picking m numbers where uh, this bit is set right this bit is 1 I want to find out whether this bit can be set after applying k number of operations or not because this is the max possible values right so initially this is your answer answer is the uh, maximum bit bit value right now uh, first find out the target value so this target is nothing but your current answer like this current answer because I want to iterate from uh, bit 30 to uh, bit 0 right so your target would be your current value or one left shift b right because the value at uh, this uh, bit index would be one left shift b right so this is my target value now what my objective is my objective is to convert all the numbers in this nums let's say this is your nums array right nums array now i want to convert like so first i will find out uh, what would be the operation like the number of operation required to convert first integer to this target like whatever the target is let's say this is your target i want to find out the operations required to convert first integer to target similarly second to target then third to target fourth to target fifth to target right so uh, it will give you an array right so th so this is this array will store this array will store the number of operations required to convert uh, each of the number to its target number right but if you notice it uh, we have to pick only k like only m integers right so isn't it optimal to pick m integers m integers who, whose operation is like the number of required operation is as minimum as possible right so this v would store this vector v would store the number of uh, uh, operations required to convert all the numbers in the nums array to target right so after that I, what i am doing i am sorting uh, the number of uh, operations then i then then i am picking the smallest m operations right because that would be the minimum possible uh, like number of operation to convert m integers because we because I want to convert only m integers to uh, this target right because because the objective is to find out the max value after picking m number not all the numbers so that's why after sorting just pick m numbers whose uh, required operation is as minimum as possible 
so sort it and let's say this is your sum the number of operations then go through the smallest m operations and just do increment and if sum is less than or equals to k means that so k is the maximum number of possible operation right so if sum is less than or equals to k just uh, update your answer your answer is updated by answer is equals to target now i can get uh, this bit set one right so yeah uh, if your sum is less than or equals to our target means that i can get this bit set one then i'll i'll like then i'll mark it uh, bit set and i'll move on to the next index right? from msp to lsp so i think so i hope you understand uh, what i'm doing here so the only uh, like difficulty here is to find out what would be the cost to convert this integer to target right that's it otherwise the problem is pretty easy like so i hope you like so most of you would have understand the idea so here the only difficulty come how to convert x to target x to target so this is the function that actually find out uh, what would be the number of operation required to x to target right so uh, the idea which like what i'm doing here so in target uh, we have couple of bit set right so let's say target is 1 0 0 1 0 1 or something right let's say this so this is the target i want to focus only on these bits where the bit is set i don't want to focus on these bits right because because uh, i want to make sure that where the bit is set in the target your x your x must also has uh, this bit set for other indexes like for other bits it like i don't care about those bits i only care about bits where the uh, the value is set in the target right so it, 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 that's exactly what i'm doing here i'm st again starting from uh, 30 to 0 so i'm just checking if the bit is set in the target so in target if the bit is set i want to find out what would be the minimum number of operation that would be required to convert uh, this x to a number such that your this becomes set right so what we can do here <clears throat> let's let's try to understand it through example like because i am doing some kind of modulo operation right so let's see exactly what i am doing here uh, let's see let's say you have uh, 1 0 1 0 right 1 0 1 0 uh, not one zero one zero. Let's say you have zero zero one zero. Right? I want to uh, I want to make this bit set one. Right? I want to make this bit set one. So I want to find out how many number of operations required such that I I can convert this to a number such that uh, this become one. Right? So if you want to find out the minimum number of operation to convert this to a number whose uh, this bit set is one, that would be nothing but one zero zero zero. This is the minimum number where the this bit set is one, right? One zero zero one one zero one zero. This is th these are also possible because uh, uh, here also uh, this bit set is one. But the thing is, it will require more number of operation, right? So the minimum possible number that would be required to convert uh, this number into another number such that this bit this bit set is one. That number is nothing but one one zero zero zero. This is exactly is this need this need is nothing but one left shift b because i want to make uh, this bit set one right and the minimum number of and the minimum number possible where this bit set is one is one left shift b so this is my need now let's see <clears throat> uh, how many number of required to convert this to this that would be nothing but that would be nothing but uh, so here uh, what is this value this value is two and what is this this is nothing but this is nothing but uh, 8 right 1 2 4 8 so the number of required operation is 6 right so if you see here if you like if you just find out uh, this modulo this modulo 1 left shift b plus 1 b plus 1 is nothing but 16 so just find out uh, 2 modulo 16 uh, which is nothing but 2 and then uh, just subtract it from 8 because now i want to uh, add some number right because i can apply at most k operation so just uh, keep on adding some number so how many numbers you can add such that 2 becomes 8 that is nothing but 6 8 minus 2 that's exactly i have done here need minus remainder but the but like you may ask why you have done one uh, left shift b plus 1 like so why you have taken the modulo with one left shift b plus 1 the reason being 
I want to uh, convert this bit like at index B to set right like I want to set this bit but it, it might possible that in this X you might have some couple of ones before right let's say the number was 110010 and I want to uh, set this bit right I want to set this bit so if you so here the X value is like pretty large right this X is not 2 this is 2 plus 32 plus 64 which is pretty large number right so we cannot like we cannot easily find out 8 minus because here see I want to only subtract these numbers I want to subtract uh, the sum of these numbers right so the sum of these num like the value of this value is 2 I want to find out 8 minus 2 not these so I want I don't want so I don't care about this bit set which is present on the left side and the minimum value which is here is one left shift b plus 1 and this is nothing but one left shift b plus 2 and so on so if you take modulo this would like this will be uh, like cancel out so if you take modulo with one left shift b plus 1 these bits would be cancel out because I only want to care about these values what is the value of uh, like what is the uh, value of these bit set that is present on the right side I don't want to uh, handle those bit set that is set on the left side that's why I, so if you take one left shift like the modulo with one left shift b plus one this bit set would be cancelled out so you, what you will left you will left with the number that is present on the right side so the, now this is two I want like I know that I can apply six operation to convert two to eight that's exactly what I have done this is your block and just take the remainder and just uh, so the number of operation that will be required is nothing but need minus remainder so just do y plus equals to need minus remainder and that's it so y is your final number x was your initial number so these many number of operation that will be required to convert x to target so i hope you understand what i am why i am doing modulo with uh, one left should be plus one because i i want like i want i don't want to uh, uh, handle these beats these are not relevant for me right because if you want to convert this bit set to one like if you want to make this bit set one this doesn't matter so just just do it modulo with b plus one one left to b plus one and this will be cancelled out so we're left with this these many number of bits so yeah that's all about four problem if you find the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank thanks for watching have a nice day